When considering life in the Yellowstone Thermal Basin, extremophiles that thrive in, if not required, extreme temperatures or acidic conditions come to mind. Some of these extremophiles prominently display the colorful bacterial mats that characterize some thermal features. Other lesser-known extremophile species include the esoterically famous Thermus aquaticus, the first organism ever recorded to survive temperatures greater than 80 degrees Celsius by producing heat-resistant proteins that allow cellular function at high temperatures. After its discovery, one of these heat-resistant proteins became an indispensable component of a genetic sequencing method known as polymerase chain reaction analysis that requires DNA to cycle between ambient and greater than 90 degrees Celsius conditions. Some plant species survive simply by resilience. Lodgepole pines are widespread throughout western North America but they thrive in the slightly acidic, nutrient-poor soils of the Yellowstone caldera, where other tree species are not as abundant. However, as tree roots absorb water from hydrothermal fluids, silica and minerals build up inside the tree, turning the base of the tree white and eventually causing the tree to die. The white base, which to some people looks like a white sock, is called a bobby sock. Other plant species have evolved to require the heat and moisture from geothermal activity to survive and are endemic to the park. Bent grass, which lives in geothermally heated cracks along the walls of hot springs, is found only in geyser basins along the Firehole River and Shoshone Geyser Basin. Even rarer is the Yellowstone sulfur plant, which requires a thermally affected area that is neither too hot nor too cold and grows only in the mostly barren open ground along the Firehole River. Other plants, such as the Yellowstone sand verbena, may have used the heat from geothermal activity to survive long enough to evolve from other species in its genus that are only found in warmer, drier climates. In Yellowstone National Park, we observed this theory. Microorganisms, which reproduce rapidly compared to megafauna, have evolved to survive extreme geochemical and thermal conditions that would kill other organisms.